It's very obvious to me, you knew I'm getting ready to grab a hold of somebody that's got electricity running through them, but you did it anyway. What went through your head in the moment? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I knew from back in high school, I took uh, residential house wiring. So I knew like how to um, deal with somebody who was being electrocuted. But at the time, I didn't have the uh, actual equipment to help me. But it's just like, this man is going to die. And I got to do something, even if it means putting myself at risk. Yeah. Now, what they told you in, in that high school class was don't touch them or have big rubber gloves, and you didn't have that. What did you think was going to happen, and what did happen? What, what happened to your hands? What happened was exactly what I thought was going to happen. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got shocked. Uh, it was twice before I was able to grab him without feeling anything on the third time. Yeah, so when you grabbed hold of him and pulled him that whole time, you, you're getting shocked, right? Mm -hmm. How many people on the platform that could have helped but did not? About like 30. You had people um, getting off the train to see what happened, people that's about to get on the train. Yeah, and you, you said people were yelling at you, don't <laughs> touch him. He's getting electrocuted. Yeah, I heard somebody saying, don't touch him. You're gonna get." That's literally like the only voice I heard Like as soon as I got down there, and it's just like... I had to stay focused. Were people recording this? Yeah, so there were people recording and people saying, help them, you know, but everybody was just watching and um, I couldn't be the one to watch. It had to be going through your mind that when you grabbed him that you could get electrocuted yourself, right? Mm -hmm. What'd you say to yourself about it? Well, I just, kind of went by faith and <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about that, you know, at the time. It was just like a a quick, you know, a quick action, honestly. You've said you were, you were certainly grateful you didn't die, but you thought, well, if I do, at least I'm doing it for the right cause. Yeah, when I look back at the video, um, well, first, you know, like what happened where, you know, it was people fighting. So I, I feel like that's probably why people didn't want to help or mainly because people were in fear or they didn't know what to do. But um, no, I just seen it as another person, a human needing help. And, you know, no matter what they did, it does, you know, you still take action. Yeah. And you're the one guy out of everybody on that platform that jumped down there and helped that man and saved his life. Right. Um, yeah. and you don't see yourself as a hero. You don't like being called a hero. How do you look at what you did? Um, it was definitely a heroic act, and um, you know, I just, I just feel like I did the right thing. Yeah, and somebody else noticed it too. There's a gentleman named Early Walker. Uh, he says he was so moved by what Anthony did that um, he surprised Anthony with a car. Early's joining us uh, virtually. Early, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Doc. Um, this, this really inspired you and moved you when you saw this, right? It did. You know, when I saw this, my wife actually showed me the video. She said, hey, she said, look at this. When I saw this, I instantly was like, you know what? I have to help him, you know? And so I found out, you know, just through other media blogs that the reason why he was on the train is because his car had broken down. And so I instantly said, okay, let me go to a local car dealership and let me do my part. And I scraped up some cash and I, you know, instantly was like, hey, let me try to get the best vehicle on this lot for him because he deserves it because... Contrary to what he says, he is a hero. Yes, he, he certainly is. <laughs> and, and, and you're another for stepping up and acknowledging him and rewarding this kind of behavior. God bless you, Early, for doing what you did. Thank you so much. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.